Hello and welcome to stream 2 of today. Now we continue this. I am very... It was Tauhei Boulevard, right? The case. Company, it can push a hockey. Hockey side to a tie hey, pull about east. Let's go here first. Um, here. Hey Tsukumo, here's your bucket. <laughs> hey. Yes! You have no idea how excited I've been about this. Hey, whatever floats your boat. But anyway, anything you have to share on your end? Yes, I found this person you're looking for. Why won't she but uh, change her phone? Just things are like homing beakers, man. Damn, you're pretty good, you know that? <laughs> huh. But yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Anyway. It seems she's got a job at the Poppo on Shitsifuku Street. Huh? Now, come on, I have to go back to Poppo. What's up with this? <laughs> yes, you do seem to get run into Poppo stores quite a bit, huh? It's the Poppo curse, you come see. I have an extra nice ball, you come see. You want it? <laughs> Isn't it great how convenience stores, vendors don't go bad even at the room temperature? As you can friends with someone, you will sometimes receive items from them when you pay them a visit. If you don't get an item, track them back later. Come again later. So it, I can't use his services.
stay down. I hate Boulevard. East. Oh, I can't go in there. There. Was the bar in here somewhere? Oh, here. Hello? 
this Nothing. Domo. Domo. Beauty, no. Kaudin tutsukumaa. Mä olin minä sen sulpi hiö. Petus taas luki. First. Kiitos, Mase. You have ten point total. And the record is six fuku. Excuse me. Um are you Asami Malamia? Yes, I am. Who are you? Um Takayuki Yakami. I'm a private investigator. I was hired by Fuyu Hiko Tanaka to look for you. For Tanaka-san, my manager, he hasn't been able to hate you, so he's been valid. I guess I did forget to tell him that I changed my number and email. Hmm? Wait, you changed them? Eh. Yes, this person stalker I have found. 
uh, this persistent stalker I have found them, so I had to change it. I see. And uh, have you given your new contact into four to anyone? Mm -hmm. Only my family and my best friend. With the stalker, I'm not taking any chances. Right. You won't be able to trace who leaked it. <sighs> but I guess I'm really very devil one, huh? I know. Mm, can I ask if Tanaka-san was mad? I left the company pretty suddenly. No. No, in fact, he regretted that he couldn't help you out more. I see. Poor guy. Excuse me. Do I have your permission to tell Tanaka-san where, where to find you? Yes, I think I owe him an apology. Excellent. Thank you for trusting me. But please don't tell anyone other than Tanaka-san, okay? It won't be horrible if the Stargo found me yep. again. Of course. I'll be very discreet. That's that. Better get in touch with Tanaka-san. Hello? Hello, Tanaka-san? Oh, Yakami-san. Any news? Yep. Yes, I found the Marimiya-san. Really? That's the best possible news. I've kept calling her, but it just keeps going to voicemail. I was beside myself with worry. Mm -hmm. You were getting her voicemail? Yeah. If she was safe, she could have just answered her phone. She's. Well, there's nothing to worry about. So, where is she? Um, about that. Tanaka-san, can we meet up? I think it's best I tell you in person. Uh, Alright, let's meet up at the M side cafe. Great. See you there. The job's technically over once I tell Tanaka-san where Marimiya-san is. But I can't shake the feeling that something off about this one. Something is really off. Yama building. <laughs> hmm? Hey, what are Sandatsan's fan post doing in a place like this? Oh, all right, Sandatsan, here I come. We are coming to free you from your cage, oh beautiful sundress of Kamacho. Are you guys ready? Here we go! Charge! Hey. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? Oh. Oh, you're the one who was talking. <laughs> Not talking. Talking to Sanatsan. Some sketchy guys ran off with her, and nothing about it seems to light at her, so it was up to us to follow them. We don't have time for this brethren. Sansan's in there. So this is the place. We got a pretty solid information plan. Infiltration plan. Did you come to join us? No. You guys wait here and call the police. I'll deal with them on my own. Okay. Good luck, sir. What the? Just who do you think you are watching in here out of nowhere? Yakimi-san! Yakimi-san! I'm here to take Sanat-san home. Oh? You're the detective. Would you mind not getting our way? <laughs> yeah. All we mean to do is educate her a little. So she won't misbehave on the job. <laughs> I want in a... Oh, dude. 
You want in the fun? Then you have to settle for sloppy seconds or maybe slippery thirds. Get away from her. Oh boy. Acting out the hero fantasy, are we? Then it's time we give ya a taste of reality. Bring it on. Are you all right, son, son? It's all right. It's all right, son, son. You're safe now. Thank you, Yakamisan. I'm sorry I let this happen. If only I'll have warned you. No. No. Don't blame this on yourself. Do you do you think I'm not meant to be famous? Hmm? What are you saying? What happened just now? I don't think I can take it anymore. If this is what the future's like for me, then forget it. I'm sure there are ways to prevent this from happening again. There has to be. Maybe that's true, but I... <coughs> I'm so scared. Jonathan. Just thinking about those awful men makes me cringe. I'm literally shaking head now. You went through something no one should ever have to experience. It's those men who were disgusting, not you. Yeah, but look what happened. I'm not... Nothing but a clueless country girl, with no idea how cruel the city really is. All I wanted was to be under the flashing lights, pouring at my soul to people who love my music. And what did I end up doing? I fought right into a trap, not even caring about the consequences. Why I see that now, that uh, that one guy has her face on a... Uh, Shirt. So ignorant. So stupid. Come on. No, you're not. You know, maybe I should just go back to the countryside. Forget my hopeless dream. Um. Don't you think it's a little too early to be giving up like this? Yes. You trusted the wrong people. But that was your own, your only fault, and if it was an accident at that. Are you really going to give up on your dream just because you stumbled on your first step? I don't know what to tell you. I've made some mistakes in my time too. I know how much it hurts to think you won, only to have it all taken away. But if you let your dream go, it'll never come again. Come back. No matter how much you regret it later on. Yakami san. Hey, if you still want to give up, though I won't stop you. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, Yakami san. But actually, I. Don't give up, san san! Yeah, you're super talented sinner, san san! Throwing away all those songs you wrote won't be a terrible waste. That's right, I have no idea how I'd get through my day without you. Everyone. But, uh, but I... Far beyond the road of life and deep within my dreams. 
Yeah, I'd say it's behind a shadow that my mind's eye cannot see. The moments when I care the most is when I get too close. But then the voice of inside inside of me rings out with all my hope. Hope. That's you, Sansan. You, San, that in front of all of us, remember? It's like you to give up hope. It's not like to give up. Yeah, that's because you're the light of hope itself. Th that soon gave me courage to face my boring ass job every day, no matter how much it sucks. Oh, uh. All because of my son? Yes, ma'am. Your person sets our spirit ablaze with burning desire. That's why we'll never give up on you. All of you. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? Looks like you already got yourself a dedicated fanbase. Can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, commission. I know I said was... I said... Yeah, yeah. I know I said I was scared and dreadfully I still am, but you know what? I'm gonna get back on my feet and keep going. No matter what happens. Good. Alright! Thank you so much, yagi son. So everyone, I'd like to ask you, from here on out, I'll be giving it my all, so please, keep cheering me on. That's exactly what I plan to do. Me too. Same here. I was never serious about her pain me back when she's successful. But who knows? At this rate, maybe she'll end up famous enough to make a good ante deal. <laughs> Fully by then, she'll be on TV and living a life of luxury, far away from me and this place. Hmm. Is this game trying to tell me something? If you can text, you can date. You will meet some very promising young ladies to have side cases that may eventually agree to go out with you. Once this happens, they start to message you regularly. You can take this opportunity to invite them out via the message app. Dating pulls intimacy. As you exchange messages with your girlfriend, Choose the option that you think will make her happy in order to build intimacy. Eventually you'll be able to ask her out on dates or she may even make the first move herself. Note that even if you decline an invitation, you'll be able to go out to another time if you man message her later on, unlike in the real life. <sighs> Note that even if you decline an invitation, you'll be able to go out another time if you message her later on, unlike in her life. After going steady long enough and building a healthy level of intimacy, perhaps he'll even convince her feelings. Unlike real life. That doesn't happen. No. Oh. Eh, this place was whatever. The food wasn't bad, but the presentation? Lame. Yeah, it's like they try to make it look boring. Totally not satisfied at all. Won't even make a decent meme. Why don't we get out of here and grab some dessert? For sure. Let's go ahead. Yeah, 
Sorry. Sneeze. Let's go hit me sure. What was all that about? <gasps> oh, Yakami-san, come on in. Hmm? Everything okay? You don't seem like you use yourself. Huh? Oh, it's nothing, really. You sure about that? Well, in all honesty, I realized our lemon hasn't caught on with the Yanko crowd, and I can't put my finger on why. Hmm. That is a head scratch for sure. Personally, I think your lemon tastes amazing. You're too kind, Yakamisan. I wish it were as simple as taste, but that's not all young people are after these days. What do you mean? It's this whole social media thing. Kids nowadays are hooked on it. Everything they see and do, they snap a picture and share with the entire world. Yeah, sounds about right. <sighs> Unfortunately, our ramen isn't quite suited for this online environment, because we make it simple and traditional. I see. Because it's a sign of the times. And it kills me when customers crowd around the spot just because they make a smiley face out, that, out of the fish eggs or something. Then why don't you try constructing something fancy of your own? Huh? Why don't you cook up a hot new ramen design to catch people's attention? Hmm, you make a decent argument, but I feel it's almost a sin to attract customers based on visual appeal alone. Yes, so why not create a ramen that both looks and tastes appealing? For example, how about a ramen topped with your honey marinade katsu? Katsu? That way, you'll be using your tried and true ingredients in a more innov innovative way. A special crafted ramen that akin to its food form and flavor. Yeah, yeah! You know what? I can do that. That's the spirit. I know you've got what it takes to make the trendiest ramen in town. I'll do that. I'll get right to work. <laughs> Can't wait. I will come back again. Thank you. Trading company. Oh. Hmm, I don't see anyone who looks like a client. Maybe I beat them here. Guess I can afford to wait a while. Are you Yakami? Mm -hmm. Yes, from Yakami Detective Agency. Your van, son, I take it. Yes, I am Ron Van. I apologize for calling you out to a place like this. I did not want anyone to listen in our conversation. His Japanese is a little stiff. Judging from his name, maybe he's Chinese? Hmm. That's it. He sure stands out. Wonder what he does. Excuse me. You had a job for me, right? Yes. As I have written, I want you to search for a cat. This one. Photo of Xuan Xi. Xi. A missing cat? Seems straightforward enough. 
Its name is Shuan Si. He is burned in Aran Kamarotsu, but he is too quick for me to catch. Is he an indoor cat or <clears throat> is he an indoor cat who cut out or does he take strolls like this often? Move to let letter. Shuan Si isn't my cat. He is the pet cat of someone who passed away recently. Mm. Someone or oh, boss. And let us simply say I am deeply indebted to him. This is getting sketchier and sketchier. Are these guys triads? We don't know where Swan C went after the boss passed. But it is well known that he adored this cat. Even in his will. Shuan Si was the first order of business. Sounds like a cat guy, all right. Yes, that is why we must find Shuan Si and keep him safe. He cannot be allowed to become another stray. Right. Well, I think everything's clear. But I admit, I thought we'd be talking about something a lot more secretive. Was coming here necessary? Yes. You see, another executive member of our organization is also Frankie. Frantically seeking Shuan Shi. Shuan Shi cannot fall into this man's hands. And if he be here, as we are searching too, he will most certainly attempt to sabotage our efforts. I don't understand. Why can't you let this other guy find the cat? That man does not seek the cat to repay our boss's kindness. He harbors no such sentimentality. No. To him, all he sees is the true value of Xuan Xi. True value? He knows the cat to be an, uh, of the mountain's value. He has said as such. This cat could change the fate of our entire organization in truth. This must be some cat. I myself do not understand, but I know the man. And I know he will do many, any means possible to find the cat. But to see Xuan Xi handed over to someone out of pure self-interest will be devastating. How can someone who only sees an animal for its value be expected to care for its well-being? Hmm. Is the cat made of gold or something? How the heck does a cat have this much value? I will not lie. This shop may be dangerous. I will pay you 400,000 yen. Will you accept it? Yep. Y yeah, that's fine. I'll take the case. Thank you. I look forward to seeing Shun Shi soon. I'd probably find a thousand stray cats in this city before I found the right one. Hmm. Maybe I can find someone who knows a little more about cats that can help. There are two people. Nyan Nyan Cafe. In this very building. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. I was hoping you could help me find the missing cat in this photo. Hmm? I do feel like I've seen that color before. You have? Yeah, I meet lots of kitties when I go out getting his place. I put a and a close him, but couldn't catch him. Oh yeah, it was uh, around Tahe Boulevard. He was wandering in that area. Tahe Boulevard. Thank you. Oh, before you go, sir. Cats aren't the most trusting little guys. They run away if you just come right up to them. What should I do then? There's several tricks, actually. Basically, you need to use something to catch the cat's interest. Like a toy or something. Yes, something that moves. Or good, or food works too. Makes sense. But it depends on how hungry the little guy is. If he's eating, food may not entice him. Here, I always keep food around. I'll give you a few cats. Really? Thanks a lot. I'm not going to do this for you. This is for the cats. 
Bet the cat's bit of some food. Sounds like it's worth shot. Guess I'll see if I can find this trouble maker and I hate Boulevard. Tai hei tulevaat. Normal tai hei. So millennium tower. Fastest. What the heck? This is my building. Oh. All right, time to head up. Yes, this should do it. I wonder how obvious this is though. He might see I throw it. Well, uh, still worth a shot. Ah. Here comes the drone. Nice. Yes, he took the bait. Now I just follow the signal of our in-depth head band view to the shores, the batting cages. Thank you for this, Yakamisan. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Tan Tanakasan. Sorry you managed to find Asumikun. Where is he? So, you managed to find Asum Asumikun. <coughs> Where is he? I found her working at the convenience store on Sisyphus Street. Huh? A convenience store? So she was under my nose the whole time. Yeah. It sounded like she had regrets about how quickly she quit the company. Yakamisan, thank you for getting to the bottom of this. I'll buy you the money later. No problem. Thanks for doing business. No, really, thank you. I'm so relieved. Good to hear. Let me know if there's anything else. I will. I'll be going then. 
Well, that was not so bad. All in all, this was pretty easy job. But she have even under the link. Hmm? Who could this be? Hello? Hello? Hello, is this Yakami the de Is this Yakami the detective? Speaking? Well, you see, my name is Tanaka and I'm hoping you can help me locate someone. Huh? Huh? Tanaka? San? She was one of my employees actually, a woman by the name of Asami Masmia. Wait, wait, did I just report back to you about this very case? Excuse me? What do you mean? I mean, I just told you that I found my Minasan. We just had this conversation, didn't we? Uh, I'm sorry, this is the first time we've ever spoken, Yakamisan. What's going on here? Oh no. Yakamisan, did the man who made this request look to be in his 30s with dark hair? And maybe a little on the pale side? Yes, to all three. Uh, oh no, that's the man who was talking asami huh? huh? His name is Inamoto. He is a client of our company and he has been harassing asami lately. He's actually the son of the CEO, which made this complicated so asami quit her job. What? This man who gave you the request, do you know where he is now? Oh shit, I fell right into his trap. Damn it, why did I tell him? Right where I should be, while my son is in danger. I'm sorry, Tan son. I'll have to call you back. Huh? Hey! I have to get to my son. ASAP. She's probably still at the popo on, on East City Focus Street. Is that our boy? Here, yeah, kitty kitty kitty. This is pretty tasty, right? Yeah, that's right. You smell this? Wait! Is he not hungry? Glad he went inside the Millennium Tower. Why do the doors even open for cats? Can I jump down? Where'd you go? at him? I think it came from above. Uh-huh. 
Hmm. Where is it? I can move. Suspicious. Oh, hey, it's a cat, but it's not Chuan Shi. Yeah. It's gonna be Chun Shi. 
Uh, of course I can't hit him. What shall I do? The guy at the cafe said maybe try something that more would interest him. Something that could make a cat want to chase it. What do I have? That's right, Kitty. You know what's good? Hey, I think it, this might just might work. Huh? Huh? Whoa! Who would dare attempt to beat me to this cat? Hey! What you doing? You seek Sean C as well? Was it the one Van who hired you? Is this the guy Van Sean was talking about who wants Sean C for selfish reasons? So I put my clients none of your business and you're not getting that cat. If words will not make you see their autopades, you'll just have to die. Must we? Items and the healing. What's this cat mean to you? Why are you so desperate to get him? The kingdom is at stake, and that cat is the crown. Mm -hmm. A crown? You wanna be less cryptic? If you think this is some... some alley cat, you're wrong. Get in the way again, and I won't hesitate to kill you. How the hell is a cat a crown? 
Not some gears will take literally I guess. Now I better get this fixed and then figure out how to deal with that weird weapon. I think Maki Harakun is just the guy for this. Sorry for calling you out suddenly, Maki Harakun. <laughs> it's no problem. No problem, I was bored anyway. But what happened to your throne? Your flying ecclesy? Now, I got into an argument with a little jerk and he shut it down. Wow, some people are so pity, right? But do you think it can be hit? Yeah, man, no problem. This will be cake. Great. But uh, while we're at it, I don't want it to get shot again. Do you have anything bulletproof? Why would you plan on getting it shot again? Shot at again, Yakamisa. Yeah. Well, I seem to run into a lot of jerks in my line of work. I see, in that case... Sometimes a good defense is a good offense. Why not shoot them first? Shoot them first? You mean like, at a gun mode? Yeah, something like that. But that would be kind of costly. How much? Yeah. I think oh. I could do it for 100,000 yen. Yikes! Pretty steep, but it's gotta be worth getting a gun more than this thing. Oh, I don't have that kind of money. Sorry, Yakamishan, but parts are parts. Let me know if you can come up with it. Without that gun mode, I don't think I'll be able to cut much further in this case. I'll have to do something eventually. So one hundred thousand. Got it. Stay down. I need to eat. There's some yeah, I can eat. 
Out of the way. guys if you excuse me I will go to eat <clears throat> damn I can't fucking believe this what kind of two bit dump has the balls to refuse its customers anyway What's up with that guy? Ano. Kalitin, sir. Uh, Matsusaki, the manager here. Would you care to learn about our Yakineku challenge? Hmm? Sir, what's it all about? It's got free travel costumes related to Yakineku. And show them right and we'll serve you the final skull beer cutout to Astro 4. Hmm, sounds interesting. A worthy marshal for a worthy customer, will your knowledge make the great or will you end up getting killed? Find out for only 1000 yen. Should I take the again challenge? Why not? Yeah. Wonderful. Then let's begin right away. First question. Which of the following in in arts is located toward the earmost part of the cow? The large intestine, right? Oh, I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. Just the same. Crap. Please flee to the dragon. You're welcome to try it again today. Try it. Yeah. Deliver, right? Uh. Yeah. Bravo, you nailed it. Awesome, nothing. On to the second question. Which of the following in art is considered to be the guts? You're absolutely right. Awesome. Next is the third and final question. Which of the following cuts, cuts is used to prepare kalbi? Flank? Hmm? Huh? What's that <laughs> the opposite. You pass with fine colors. Phew, you almost had me for a second. Don't pause like that. Apple size, I thought it would fit the mood. Back to the subject at the hand. Since you answered everything correctly, we will serve you the legendary Kalbi. Yeah. Not many customers are grounded enough in beef culture to get through all these questions. You know, well done. Now, please follow me.
thank you for your patronage. We eagerly await your return. Amazing. That cult was really something else. And it also healed me. Thank you. Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Piece of cake. Whoa, for real? I wasn't expecting you to actually win. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fellow. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park, then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? But first, Patton gets this. Let's go Patton. No, let's check this. Uh, side mission, real quick. I had no idea on a Mitsuo expanded in the Tokyo. Ah. Ah. 
Here we go. All right. Ah. Final for this stream. Here we go. All right. That's some black magic. Now I have to hit the boat. I lost. Huh. 
Why is it? Here we go. All right. Nice. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Excuse me. Here we go. All right. Here we go. 
All right. Yeah. Yep, I don't, I don't get any XP if I quit the minigame halfway through. Here we go. Get to know. Even if it's just All 8 right. experience, but still. Yep. It's always the first one. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right.
I think I didn't notice because the easiest ones I always managed to get Here we first go. try, but these are all right. in the same positions or same throws. So can, in that sense, I can, I can memorize them. There you go. Just keep doing it and you can memorize them. Done. Aha! But how do I get to the rooftop? Huh. 
This for my feast. You the one they call. <clears throat> you the one they call the bandit professor. Indeed, I am. In. I have a great many names. <laughs> bandit professor, Skivy Scora, Lingali Literati. Perhaps you've come to partake of the banquet with me, or are you a just a scavenger hoping for a sloppy seconds? Not to ruin the moment, but those are actually mine. <laughs> Well, not mine per se, I bought them to lure you out. What? I don't deserve this punishment. Hey. Black, I'm gonna puke. I've been brushing in the scent of man's sweat. Just come along quietly, man. We'll find you some real strong orders down at the station. Never! There are far too many panties. The world just fighting for me to discover them. If you're going to interfere, then this is where you die. Damn, he's going for a gun. Wait, who's the those? This belongs to one another and the heart trap supermodel Alicia Takeda. Yes, 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 the full share power is really not fitting me. What? Is he actually getting stronger? The scent of fairs grants me strength. Prepare yourself for the might of my swearing libido. Must we? We must. <laughs> I was afraid I get stuck. Even my pen the fuel delays. Got the bastard. Hey, you're coming down down, Chico. I may have fallen limp, but the others still stand elect. They shall ensure you meet your end. <laughs> See you in hell. That's enough out of you. Come on. I should tell this out to my twins what happened. <laughs> you got less DC now. The panty professor is going away for a long time. Wow, you're amazing, Yakamisan. 
You actually caught him. You did great, Thank you, Yakamisan. Now I can sleep in peace. Oh, but before I forget, Dinky Tsukina wanted to ask if I favor of you. Yeah, shoot. This, uh, um, this is hard to ask, but don't worry, I can take it. Can you um, destroy any records of what I told you about my panties? Knowing that's out there is mortifying. So if that will make you more comfortable. <laughs> This panty professor is probably the first guy to actually see them, huh, Tsukino? Didn't I just say I didn't want to think about it? Hey, Yakamisan, just so you know, Tsukino is on the market and I'd say... And I'd say if you wanted to see her panties... <laughs> Get out of here with that. Twisted trio. Let's hope the cops get to deal with that other two. I have a feeling this is an whole arc worth of content. So it means there's probably two other side cases. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards!
you guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? <sighs> we wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. So their friend got murdered, and they couldn't do a damn thing about it. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. The fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in a sewer. Who do you think killed him? I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right, Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Oh, that's the sewer. Okay. There's nothing there. Maybe I can't because I have friends with me. Oh, it's night. No, I'm not slowing down. Try to keep up. Hello. And stay down. Let's hit it.
first. Higashi-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <clears throat> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Come to like the place.
didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light, where the safe was, not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. So Hamara stays happily and pinned it on kaito -san to get him expelled. But if Hikashi knows all that, why is he at Hamara's beck and call? How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing, after Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town, till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose, we weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Uh, Hamura... Is that him? It's Higashi, sir! Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi... What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? <laughs> hey, um, that really a good idea? Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... Uh, I... Well, I... Uh, What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, 
I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Uh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. <laughs> What are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No, but people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. True. The cops probably won't suspect him. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey. What if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? When Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Tak was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them, pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home, maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age, 
Snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with a Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tok wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why he took him in. Tok didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. a dead man walking. What do you and Matsugane-san still see in him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us, and when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But if he ever gave the order to off you, I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. Another chapter done. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Chapter 4 Skeleton Skeletons in the Closet <laughs> So, Higashi Tell me You have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Awfully tense lately. Uh, kind of kills the whole room, you know. Huh? Uh, yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. Oh, my God. 
One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyorei's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyorei clan wants a war? Looks like it. Kamurocho is turning into a goddamn battlefield. Be right back. Have this. Hmm. Oh. Yakemi san, this is Sana Meet Mihama. Thank you so much for the other day. You really set me up, you know. I'll set you up anytime. There's so much go on. Okay, then I won't let you down. Hope you will come hear me sing again soon. Higashi was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. First. The, the great room, yes.
Oh, I accidentally took the... Okay, never mind. Is there any no? Why is Hoshina going to call me? Hello? Hello? This is Yakami? Yagami-san! Yagami-san, you've got to help me! Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Kendra Law Office. Huh? What do you mean? Just something terrible happened. You've got to get down there. Yeah. Alright, I'll be right there. Is that actual? It is actual main mission. Queen of Hearts. Oh yeah, it was that. I forgot about that. Oh, hello. What timing? Hello. Hello. Can I have alcohol? Good stuff. Arigato gozaimashita. Yeah. I finally found you, Asam chan I can say it was easy. How? How did you find out I was here? <laughs> <laughs> you and I are bound by the head strain of fate. Our souls are intertwined. Fire on from me. So, shall we adjourn to the level's den I have prepared for us? Hey, hold up. Hmm, you're... Huh? You lied to me, you stalker. Hmm. Did you finally figure that out? And you call yourself a detective? Shut it. Stay away from her. Stay away from her? I'm sorry, Yakami-san, but Asami-chan and I are bound by the red strain of... That's not true at all. She doesn't want to be with you. Help! 
What are you doing? Asami. Get away from him. I'm the only one who should ever be near you. No, I hate you. Can't you take a hint? Just give it. Go away. Go away. Huh? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Hey, I said go away. Not a wise choice. Not a wise choice. I know Kung Fu. Ah, uh, Asami. That's only the start of what a guy like you is gonna face in prison. Th thank you for saving me, sir. No, I don't deserve that. It's my fault you were in this situation in the first place. Nobody could have quest he would go to such lengths. Lens. Impersonating my boss and hiring you. Well, that should take care of that. Yes. What a relief. Hello? Hello? Hello. Is Asam Kun okay? Yep. Yes, she's fine. And that bastard's been handed over to the cops. Oh, good. What a relief. Is Asam Kun there? Yes, she is. Would you mind if I spoke to her for a moment? As the commission. Hmm? I'd like to upload us to her directly, is all. Oh, I understand. Can I ask what Tanaka-san said, Bohemia-san? He uploads us, and he asked if I could come back to work for the company. Do you think you will? I don't see why not. The stalker situation seems resolved, after all. And he promised that if anything like this ever happens again, he'll do a better job standing up to me for me. He wants to become the kind of boss who can protect his employees. Good. That's what a good boss does. Yeah. Hello? Um, I don't think I ever got your name. I'm Yakami, a private investigator. Well, thank you then, Yakami-san. Just trying to do my job, ma'am. And on that note, I should be going. Hmm, okay then. Goodbye. Hey man, I'm Tatsuo, and I own the bar just over there. You look thirsty, my friend. Mm -hmm. Do I? <laughs> Only 2,000 yen for a drink, what do you say? Uh, he's a barker. <laughs> hey, come on, man. I'm in serious trouble right now. A big party just cancelled on me, and I'm so screwed if I don't fill some tables. So, so, so please, can't you hear me at Like I said, I ran that bar... <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, I ran that bar over there with my wife. It's got a real nice vibe and pretty good food, if I do so... If I do say so myself. But losing customers like this has put us in a little pinch. If you have a drink, you will really be helping us out. Damn, this guy is not giving up this easy. Just 2,000 yen, right? Totally! It's a panic sale! You won't regret it! I'm on. Why not? Fine, just one drink. No, we are talking. Please, let us pay. If anything about this turns sketchy, I'm walking out of the door.
Oh, what's this? A customer. <laughs> You're down right. Down right, monkey. Got this guy running around right outside and afford him a drink. Honey, don't tell me. Were you out there harassing people again? Didn't I tell you it's against the law? Ah? Shut up, man. It's my bar and I'll do what I want. Oh, it's your bar, is it? What if I stop helping you with it then? Oh, really? You're the one who needs the cash to fund your host crop addiction. I haven't come to a host crop in forever, and I worked more than enough to make up for it. How did I manage to walk into a marital spat? You're ridiculous. I'm going to have a drink. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. That must have been terribly awkward for you. I don't want to keep no. you... No, it's fine. I don't mind ordering the drink I said I would. Hmm. What would you like, sir? You have any recommendations? We actually just restocked some top shelf whiskey today. We can barely keep this stuff in the house. This is like it's a good bargain for a great test if you ask me. Sounds ah. right up my alley. Okay, come here, right up. Thanks for the drink. It was nice. I'm glad you enjoy yourself. Come back anytime. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, but we don't take cards. Can I ask you to pay in cash? Sir, yeah. so, I've got two thousand yen on me. Huh? Wait, why is this bill for one hundred thousand yen? Hey. You sure that's right? Huh? Really? Did I put the wrong price? <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid not, sir. Everything looks correct to me. Huh? What? One hundred thousand yen in cash. Please. They got me. This conniving. Uh. They ripped me off. Hmm? Oh, sir, are you unable to pay? Huh? Back it up a sec. Any way you slice it, 100,000 yen for a shot of whiskey is ridiculous. Your husband said the prices were reasonable. <laughs> they are reasonable, sir. But I've included the service fee for my world class bartending. Are you listening to me? Your husband said it was 2,000 yen a drink. Oh, my husband has no idea what we charge. I keep telling him to stop quoting prices. <sighs> That stupid man. Look at him, causing much misunderstandings. You're shameless. That fight earlier was just to lower my guard, wasn't it? Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you won't, check. Te check. Sir. So, the police are going to catch on to this, you know. Please, the police don't have time to deal with civil affairs in this town. They won't come if you report at me. <sighs> She knows the game too well. Damn it. Sir, I have plans after this, so if you don't mind, can you please close your tab? Huh? You think I'm just going to cough up that kind of money? Huh? Eh? If you don't pay, I'll stab myself. And who do you think they'll blame? Huh? What? Are you really going to pay the price for stopping a poor, defenseless woman? Uh, you, you wouldn't. Oh, but I would. I'll scream and then stop myself right here. F fine, I'll pay. Just lower the knife. One hundred thousand, not again, less. I've got to buy some time. She's there and no other way, nothing I can see. Cat. There's a cat. Uh 
Ha. What the? Hello, Kakat. They must have a bathroom. Maybe I can get out of Excuse that way. Me. Hey, you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? If you pay first. I'm looking here, lady. If you, your plan is to escape from the bathroom, don't even think about it. Crap. Do that in the bathroom. Huh? That's not what I meant. Hell of a lot of cigarette butts. Does she smoke that much? Maybe it's a customer, or maybe it's a, her Paco husband. By the way, maybe I can break out of this. So that's where the money goes that she helps of the customers. Pisses me off that my money is about to go there too. too. Suspicious. So the service fee is 40,000 yen and then there's a pouring pour fee of 50 tak. Wait, it's still that it's 90,000. There's the extra 10. When we sell everything at 2,000 yen at the link, we have to make the money somehow, by complain. Aha, so it actually was 2,000. But the service is the what cost. Huh? Because it's a lovely, that's why. Why come to a bar if all you're going to do is complain? Hey, I got locked in here by a parker. You young folks will not pick anything these days. Deed generates all of you. Uh, the only deed generate in here is you, lady. She's pretty dressed up tonight. That necklace is the star of the ensemble too. <laughs> hmm, are you eyeing my necklace? I like to wear this one on special occasions. Hmm? Special occasions? Oh, don't worry, it's not got nothing to do with you. But if you want to fantasize about my party and my necklace later tonight, you're welcome to it. Hell no! <laughs> A special occasion tonight, huh? That must mean she is meeting someone. Is she meeting her husband? Or someone else? Maybe this will be my lucky break. It could be completely harmless, but if it's not, I'll it I'll have my parking in zip. I'm the split here. She served you a lot of makeup tonight, and it's immaculate. She couldn't do this every day, could she? <laughs> I see you're sizing me up, playboy. I'm quite a catch, huh? You caught me on a good night. So she did go the extra mile tonight. If you keep staring, I'm going to add it to your tab. Huh? What? You think I'll give you even more? <laughs> even beauty has its pride, sweetie. In fact, now that I look at you, you're handsome, in a hacked sort of way. What do you like to pay? Physically? 
Nope. Nope. I'll give you your money. <laughs> this woman is something else. Hey. Ah. Wait a minute. There's a turn on on her finger. Does that mean her wedding hand is usually on? If so, that would mean she's taking it off specially for tonight. Maybe this woman really is about to go have an affair. If our cultures get evidence of that, I could use it to negotiate the return of my money. Hey! How long are you going to stare into space? Pay lady. It pisses me off today. No end, but I think I should just pay her for now. Got me, lady. I don't think for a second that this is over. I'll get my money back in my own way. She's right that the police. She's right that the police would never bother with the photo like this. So I guess I'll have to stoop to her level. If I catch her in the middle of an affair, that'll be all the bargaining chips I need. Hmm. hmm? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I just cut off work, mm. darling. Mm, yep, I'm good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> she was laying the charm on tick. That had to have been a guy on the other end. This is looking more and more like I'm... <clears throat> hmm. This is looking more and more like I might just get the affair I'm after. <laughs> yep. The lady in this lady is the right call. I'll get my money back. She'll pay for taking it. Nice. Alright, just gotta follow her without getting seen.
Are you waiting long, baby? Oh no, I just got here. It's been so long, has it did, Chupasa? So, do you have anything loan you want to give me? <laughs> Damn, Maki. It's only been three days, hasn't it? Oh, she's seen that host. I wonder she needed 100,000 yen. These guys are cheap. I see you took off your lane. I'm proud of you. Oh, Tsubasa, I'm a virgin every night for you. <laughs> really? That means you want me to pop that cherry tonight? Mm -hmm. I'll give you every part of me. Nah. Yeah, wow, dude. <laughs> He's just doing his job, but he keeps up with her like it's nothing. Alright, I need a good pick of this. Some things he can't talk her way out of. And the photo is just icing and the cake. Hmm, I couldn't have gotten closer, I think, but this should be fine. What's up? Hello, ma'am. Did I catch you feeling thirsty? Hmm? You, you! What are you doing here? What do you think of this pic? Your face came out again, as I think. Hmm? The, what? Didn't you tell your husband you'd quit the host club team? I wonder what he think about this photo. Hand it over! Whoa, whoa, let's not get crabby. Uh -huh. Hey, who the hell are you? Nobody in particular. Google bait. Or would you say this is just part of the job? Nanio. Chupasa loves me, you moron. <laughs> yeah, totally, Maki. Then won't you kick this guy's ass for me? You said you work out, didn't you? <laughs> b b wait, what? I'll give you 50 grand. Oh, no, make it 100,000. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. So, here's it for the paycheck after all. Let's go, asshole. You think you can step up to my lady like that? I'll go easy on you if you don't hit my face. Out of the way. No promises. Told you not to touch my face. Chopasa, are you okay? Hey. Well, ma'am, what's next on your list? I'll give you fifty thousand. Just delete that picture. I say we make it one hundred thousand. That much? It's just a picture. <laughs> sure, the picture comes cheap, but there's a service fee for deleting it, and my world class photography. <laughs> What's with that stare? Are you sizing me up, you creep? Just thinking that you must still have the money you ripped off me, right? Why not just head on that? Fine, I'll give it back. Just don't tell my husband about this. No promises. No more. Yo, you look like you need a drink, man. Oh. Yeah? Crap. Maki, what were you doing with that guy? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Huh? Don't tell me we're at the host that host club again. No, no, why would I? What is it then? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm glad I got my money back, but I'm annoyed for getting caught in the first place. More at myself than anything. 
just goes to show you can't let your guard down in Kamarazo, no matter how well you think you know it. Hmm. Oh! Oh yeah, this place. Push in the gun. What's going on? What happened? Huh? Wait, what the? You did it. So admit it already. You did it. So admit it already. Huh? I told you I didn't do it. There's no point in lying. Hey. Hey. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! You came! Yagami-kun! Yagami-kun! Ah. Mafoyu's here too. Hosono-kun, what in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious! As you can see, Sarasan and Mafoyu-san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? <sighs> yeah, and I'm innocent, I tell you! Well, here we go. What is Hoshino being suspected of? Hey. Hoshino-kun, what does Sally san think you did? No. I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake. Hmm? Her... Cake. Yes, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge. Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we are talking about. It was from Goto Katu. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? huh? Is this really happening right now? In that case, why is Mofoyo involved? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I just happened to drop in and work related issue. And you got dragged into this. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty worked up. I'm eating values and it uh, sounds like Hoshinokun is really the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Mafuyu is prosecuting the case for me. <sighs> prosecuting? Is that how it is? Hey. Okay, I'll bite. Why is Hoshinokun the most likely suspect? Hoshinokun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake seen last? I went home around 8 pm last night. And the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Hmm. Then presuming Hoshinokun is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10 pm and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the okay. office? Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry, so I think that rules out any external parties as the corporate. I see, and who unlocked the office this morning then? Kenpo-sensei got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu-san arrived. Sari-san was the last to arrive. Hmm. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. But that would mean Kendo Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No. No way. Kendo Sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. Huh. That's your justification? 
Although I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. Hey. You're up against a fall, Hoshinokun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? My for you, son, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! The longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshinokun. Objection! <laughs> If you ask me, Mafuyu-san is pretty suspicious too. Huh? Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? Hey. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Mafuyu-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. Mafuyu-san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Huh? Why would I? This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? huh? Don't you think I didn't hear it when you came in here this morning? <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> what? You heard that? Yes. Yes. You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured. You just peek in the fridge, and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You duck it right in. Am I on? Huh? Yes, you are. As a matter of fact. Besides, a crawling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. You're up. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, Sarasan will clear at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take Please? this one. I'm counting on you. Okay, apparently this is a really happening. So the first place a good lawyer starts in the crime scene. Wonder if the rapper is still in the glass. Justice is fit. Uh huh. I hear a cat. Here, a cat. Where is the cat? Somewhere around here. Aha! Hey. Ah. I'm seeing that tra the trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at the seams. Okay. We take out the trash every day now and um, rotate and shift. And who was in charge of it today? Kenda Sensei. Huh? Huh? Even Kenda Sensei pitches. <laughs> Well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sarisan made him do it. Gendo Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, don't you even consider the people who have to take their trash out. Then he said he'd start pitching in and trash to him. I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to him. Yakamisan, the other trash cans are empty too. It seems Kendo Sensei takes trash to the seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Hmm. 
Well, uh, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anything else it could have been thrown away? Well, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen. Yeah. Let's have a look. Finding that the wrapper is going to blow this case right away. Kitchen. Suspicious. Ah. This is Sarison's desk. It's immaculate. Yes. Well, look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is the one opposite hers. Seeing her green desk is actually pretty motivating. Nah. Motivating, huh? Is it the neat desk or the person who sits at it that's motivating? Huh? What are you implying? <laughs> Nothing. You're just an open book. Come on, the commission. Don't tease. I see my name place still around. I'm sure Kenta Sensei is holding on to it so you can come back when we want the reason. Hmm. Objection. I doubt that, Hosinakun. Hmm? Why? I'd say Kenta Sensei is just being lazy. He probably left it alone because he has no idea which type of glass it is or which glass can to use. That's the logical conclusion. <laughs> Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> You've got a ways to go still, Hosinakun. Your deductions don't take a person's character into account. Uh. Maybe so, but at least they're made with love, unlike someone here. For some reason, I always forgot I can actually move. So this is the refrigerator where the crime happened. Ah. Hmm. The ice tray is melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? No. Nah, couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter. Probably. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Hmm. Then why did it melt? That's interesting. No wrappers, but it looks like we've got some milk cartons. Cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. Those are Sarison's milk cartons. They went there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done. <laughs> Sarison scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. <sighs> but there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk. Is she? I kinda doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Yagami-san, are you finished with the investigations? If so, we shall start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course. Not for you. Or should I say, Prosecutor Fuji? Are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine, I've been tracked in this far. May as well see through. Please. Then call this now session for defendant Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Uh, well, the prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino-kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof, the defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have counter-argument to that assertion. Hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami-kun! Right, Yagami-kun? You can corroborate the statement I did. Hmm? Me? Hmm. If Mapu really ate the cake, 
something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... The last can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Yes, Kenter Sensei was the first one in the office today, and that's probably when he to took out the glass. Which means, if Mafuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. And since we all confirmed that the trash can is empty... Hey. Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the glass can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we had thoroughly searched every trash can. They all cleaned as a visual. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it, sorry son. I can't present a counter argument here. Okay. The court will hear the defense objections. While the wrapper may not be in a trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> Objection. Predictable, yakami -kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Hmm? New evidence? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigations, naturally. That's when this document on Saul's desk caught my eyes. It's a notice of a planned power audit. Huh? Relevance, prosecutor? It seems there was a blackout last night, scheduled from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning. I do remember Kenta Sensei saying something about that. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up, so I left and forget. Forgot all about mm -hmm. it. Hmm, then that means... Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm. Hmm. And if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Hmm. But... The whole cake was has vanished. Someone must have devoured the flesh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning af not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. <laughs> oh hey wait. I'm afraid so, Husinakun. The only one who would could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Kun, it was only for you. <gasps> no way! Objection! Hmm? Excuse me? Does that events have further arguments? Yep. Yes. I think it's too early to plan on the verdict. There's one more possibility. <gasps> this better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. The milk Sarsan put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge, three cartons to be precise. Kenta Sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim himself, herself. Hmm. I'm not following, Yakami. Let's consider what would drive Kenta Sensei to do this. 
Why would he discard flame cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, that's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There is one particular piece of evidence points to the logic behind his actions. Check this hmm? out. The power audits? Well. Defense, does this line of reason have a point? What would happen to melt milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Kenda Sensei, who had cleaned in the tea vault, find, found the milk that had come bad, he probably would throw it away. Oh, then it seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means the true culprit that ate Saurisan's cake is... No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Huh? What? I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Ken doesn't say who away the spoiled cake. Yeah, that's about the sum of it. So he said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outfit slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Kenderson found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying I kind of jump to conclusions? Oh. Well, quite a cloud in here. What plans you buy? What plans you buy, Yakami and Mafu Yukun? Welcome back, Kenderson Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power audits? And on the day I had killing into the of all days. It's a road to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. <sighs> oh. I believe the words fear. Don't you even consider the people who have to take the last out? Your words, right, Shirasaki-kun? <laughs> well, I having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. Uh, I... I... I'm so sorry! Thank you. Thank you, Yakami-san. It looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> and I sentenced Sarisan to be to clean in duty for one month straight starting tomorrow. Oh sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this Yakamisan. Thanks. I've got to say though, I'm pretty shocked. Sorry son stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved. You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. A pretty different day for the criminal justice system. Because not sure it's pretty tense right now, no thanks to the Matsukane family and the Kyori clan at each of those throats. Better ask Kasi about this. Oh, I might check if I... I heard someone got shot at the Matsukane family office last night. Yeah. Was it someone you knew? Nah, just a name I'd heard. Wait, were you actually worried about me? No, not at all. Hey, Yagami. Are you butting heads with Hamura? He called me to complain about it. Said to keep your nose out of his case. Oh, sorry about that. Fine by me. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'm good. 
He's a little preoccupied now, anyway. There was a shooting at the Matsugani family office. Yeah, I heard. This damn city gets rougher every day. I heard someone got shot at the Matsugani. Yeah. Was it some... No, nah, wait. No. Let's go out. Yes, sir. Won't you care to see some press today? <laughs> I'm talking some world class lady loves here. Knock your stuff, will uh, knock your socks off. Some incredible inflatables. Huh? Wait a minute. You're so great, Kun? What the hell were you just asking me? <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> you see, I'm actually working part time as a bugger. Hmm? Wait, what? I thought you were supposed to be a student. Hi. I am. In fact, I'm going to a vocational school right now. Well. Then why is a vocational school student working as a bugger? <laughs> oh, a lot of us students we do this kind of work. It's easy and it pays well. You know? Hmm. That may be true, but I must say, I'm not all that impressed with your career choice. <laughs> hey now, this is actually a very important job. A noble undertaking, even. Oh no. So I will ask once more, are you ready to witness the honkiest Huto experience you've ever had in your life? Huh? Dude, do these telepersonies work on other guys? They are certainly not working on me. Wait, there's actually a reason why I'm doing this. Call it a greater purpose and will, if you will. I'll even beg if I have to. Well, he does seem to be pretty earnest about this. Should I just play alone? I could always take a quick peek. Yeah. Alright, oh, you're at least trying to take this seriously, so give me the club's name and let's be done with this. Oh, great. Thanks, man. Hey. You're not doing this because you're low on money, are you? Nah, this has nothing to do with money. My family is actually pretty well off. Besides, there are bigger, more bodacious issues at stake here. Hmm. I'm curious about this issue of yours. <laughs> I'll save those details for later. First, let me introduce you so to the finest young hostess that Kamloja has to offer. She's innocent, she's lovable, and she has a good heart. And to top it off, all of your first visits on me. Huh? You'd go that far just to get me into your club. Hi. To get you to meet this girl, I'd, practic I'd practically do anything. I have a feeling it's his sister. Hmm. Really now? Really, in fact. I'll even let you order the most expensive drinks in the club all man might have. And you can afford all this. How? <laughs> Dude, I'll make cash money at this job. I'm talking like 500,000 yen a month here. Huh? What? You earn that much, just pestering pedestrians about bless. <laughs> I had no idea Bagger's could be so loaded. Yes sir, this job is all about the results. Oh, and just between you and me. The trick is to come up with as many euphemisms for boobs as you can. 
guys just eat that shit up. That actually works. How many do you have? <laughs> well, there's jugs and circulars, two boss, possums, pickles, possums, of <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Pickles, Pason Cans, Lapapolos, Plows, Biscuits. So I keep going. That was uh, more than I ever needed to hear. Let's just. Anyway, what I want you to do is head to Apple Pie over on Tenkachi Street and ask for a girl named Madoka. Okay, Madoka san, it is. Right. Also, tell whoever on duty there that I'll be food in the bill. I'll be chilling at the smoking area in South Cabana Theatre, so let me know how it goes when you're done. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Oh, just let me eat the goddamn freaking calping meat. I'll pay good money, see. I'm stuck and I got stacks. Sir, please understand. Our legendary calpi only goes to the customers who successfully pass our quiz. That's why it's a promotion. Are you shitting me? I cannot fucking believe. What kind of bullshit customer service is this? Such language, sir. Won't you please stop making a scene? Hmm? That meathead sure looks heated. Maybe it's time to squash the beef. Excuse me. Hey, is everything all right? Oh, aren't you the customer from before? Huh? Huh? Who's this lean meat looking more for? I'm having trouble with a guest. He's demanding to eat our special carpi. Hey. Well, you get all the questions right? Bro, who even cares about that shit? All I know is that I'm starving to death over here to no reason. The rules are loose, bro. If you want the carpet that bad, then why don't you beef up your knowledge? Yes, he's right. After all, he sent him and passes the quiz just fine. Huh? What? You ate the special carpet? Yep. Well, yeah. Unbelievable. You, you smug son of a bitch. I need that protein for, for my workout gains. It's completely wasted on a sausage stick like you. You know what? You spit that meat out of your mouth right now. Cough that shit up. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way I'm doing that. Then I'll make you throw up the hard way. Wow, really?
tell you fight yet? I am shook, bro. I did everything. I crossed every day and even went full ghetto too. Where did I go wrong? Training your body is fine, but next time try training your mind. Then maybe you can beat the challenge fair and square. Uh, uh, I'm out of out this bitch. Um, you okay? Yes, thank you. Thanks to you. How about yourself? Yeah. Hardly a scratch on me. Thanks, heavens. May I ask your name, sir? This is Yagami. Sir, I'm Yagami. Yagami Sama. What you did just now was nothing sort of amazing. As my way of saying thanks, you're welcome to order our super single cut carpi anytime you wish. Huh? Yeah, it sounds good to me. It's the least I can do, Yagami Sama. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Alright, it really does pay to lend people a hand every now and then. Yagami? What, what are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat? If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd... What? Never mind. Don't gotta worry about that now. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. You mean because of the shooting? Yeah, it really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Went into hiding even before the cops came. So, what do you want? Don't just stand there. You're a guest. Take a seat. <sighs> Sounds like the family's a mess right now. Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Gonna head over there myself once I'm done with this. Why? Gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering, why the Kyori decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. Their second in command's in town and ready for war. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural-born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Tough to look at. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. Look at his clothes. Hmm? His clothes? What about them? The captain was wearing the same jacket yesterday. Wait. They're about the same age, and they look the same from behind, too. Safe to say the captain knows who they were really after. So the Kyori attack was meant for Hamula specif specifically, not the Toso clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. <laughs> Funny how this all worked out. You don't look very worried. If the Kyori are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? What, you think they're coming for me? Nah. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up.
New info. Son? How's my favorite know-it-all doing? Good? Who is this? The Sai, you know, from the Kahin gang. And you're calling me why? Yakimi-san, do not listen to him. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. Kim-san, you okay? You want to see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here. That bastard. Aha, I know it is Wait a minute, here was the secret of cats. Oh yeah, I needed the money for that. How much was it? So Yes, pay. So sounds look at the land. Okay, I'll get to work. Ah. Well, done already? Yep. It shouldn't take more than a few shots to get take out even a air study nice. oh. Awesome. I think I should be able to manage. But hey, don't shoot if you need to, okay? The drone community doesn't need any murder makes up there. I'll be careful. Thanks. Okay, time to head to the Millennium Tower and see if I can get Sean C to follow the pigeon. Yes, they just come down without the first now. Okay, get it. Right on schedule, but this time we'll fire bullets from the drone hold down to activate rapid fire. When your drone is being targeted by an enemy drone, the screen will display caution at the top, accompanied by an unpleasant warning sound. If this sound should happen to you, then commence evasive man activity immediately. Your drone's durability decreases as it takes damage from enemies. Once it's durability, slow the drone fall to the ground, resulting in a game over.
All right. Got it. What do you think of this? Didn't I say I'd kill you if you interfered again? And didn't I say I won't give, be giving up on this cat? Such a stubborn man. But fine. If you would just couple of this, I will double the amount your client has huh? out. Cooper, it? I don't even know you. Fine. I'll explain what this is truly about. Our boss died with considerable fortune. But it is hidden. Hmm? Hidden? Yes. He was a very secretive man, and his fortune is stacked in a secret warehouse. But he was so wary of the traders that not even his closest advisors know of his warehouse's location. Which means what he that he died with his secret. Yes. But now do you see? There is one who knows in some way. You mean the cat? Yes. Chuan C was given free reign of the city and frequently followed him to this warehouse. Which means the cat will seek his dead master there soon. And all we need to do is follow it. Then you don't need the cat at all. You just want him to lead you somewhere. That's right. The cat is useless after all. He who obtains this fortune will rule over the entire organization. Alright, the cat is the clown, I get it now. A pity that Van did not understand its true value. I see. I think I understand things pretty clearly now. Then how about it? Will you cooperate? Uh, sorry to make you reveal the whole plan, but I'm not really the type to betray my clients for money. Then I will silence you impudent mouth here now. This will be your grave. Out of the way! Here. Ugh! <laughs> 
you shot in a bigger crowd next time. D damn you! Now, where's that cat? Meow. Huh? Hmm? Meow. Are you hungry now, guy? Meow. Do you remember that I had food? You're a smart one, huh? huh? You know how much trouble it cost me, though? The big old cat, I guess. Wait, what's this writing? Huh? Isn't this an address? The hideout wasn't a secret. It's written right on the cat's tag. Not even a triad force can think straight when it comes to his pets, huh? Huh? Or maybe he figured if the cat could trust you, so called he. The guy loved you, kitty. <coughs> Incredible. That address was written plain as day on the column. <sighs> Highly unlike a man who was usually known for his caution. Well, I suppose he wanted the people to know where to bring the cat if he ever got lost. Yes, I think it's safe to say he valued John C. above all else. And that is why I will protect him for as long as he lives. Meow. <laughs> you hear that, kitty? You've got to learn to like vanish on here. He is your only owner. Thank you for your hard work, Yakami. You're welcome. If you ever need Lady Alice, you know where to reach me. Indeed. I shall take my leave then. Sansa of Pan, Sansa's got a new cat and a lot of money to look after him a bit. But the leader trusted him, and more importantly, so does the cat. Probably I need to eat. You piss me off, know it all? And I forgot how dumb you look, so we might as well call it even. What was that? So, this is our guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you, Yagami san. Rumor has it you're a skilled little skull buster. Uh, thanks? The name's Honda. Renji Honda from the Kagan game. Pleased to meet you. Honda! Shut up! Help us kick his ass already! Help you? Come on, boys! Oh! Ah. Dude! Honda! What the fuck? What the hell are you doing? I was looking forward to this fight. Not gonna waste it by just dogpiling the guy. Be glad to give you a taste, too, if you disagree. Hey. What's your deal? Just want to fight you. That's all. Huh? That's the whole reason I joined the Kayin. Locking fists with tough bastards like you. 
So come on, let's tango. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Fighting's the only thing that keeps the world spinning, Yagami-san. I know you agree. <sighs> now, enough talk. I'm ready for some fun! Let's hunt them. Yikes. Beefier than I'd heard. This is freaking great. I'm not too big on fighting for no reason, though. Oh yeah? Looked like you were having fun to me. You're a natural-born fist flinger. But I think we're done here. What? Random bystander phoned the coppers on us. He'll be here any second. Go. What about your fight? I thought that's what keeps the world spinning. <laughs> Can't exactly fight you if you're rotting away behind bars. Let's go, Yakami-san. Hurry. Uh, okay. Hey, that was a real hoot. Let's do it again sometime, Yakami-san. Be safe now. Who was that guy, Kim san? You do not know? Oh, that was Honda. One of the Kahin four. The what? Oh, 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 it's what they call the four highest ranking members of the Kahin gang. Kasai, Honda, Sakakiba, and Koga. Each of the four has their own faction, and countless thugs. Doing their dirty work for them. So there are two more? Yes. And I hear Koga's faction is the strongest of them all. Yes. Word on the street is that they line their pockets selling weapons on the black market. 
Not even the Yakuza are keeping up with how powerful they have become. Well, then let's hope this Koga guy stays far away from us. So sorry. I'm afraid it's my fault that they are coming after you. Yeah, it's all good. Please, just be careful, Yakubi-san. You too, Kim-san. Threat. Threat level. Depending on where you are in the story and how much time has passed, there may be more Keihin gang members swarming the streets than usual when the threat level is present. Your chance of encountering Keihin gang members is higher. Powerful gang members will show up in the city as long as the threat level is present. And it heals. So here I'm going to heal first. Then yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, is Shintani Shinshin not here? Beats me, what do you need him for? Just wanted to ask him about something. I'll try back it later. Hold on a sec. Hmm? Yagami. You plan on twiddling your thumbs until Shintani comes back. Are you bored? Well, I can't say I'm busy. <laughs> Good. Then I've got the perfect job for you. I have a client who needs a bodyguard, and I want you to fill the post, Jacob. Hmm? Bodyguard. What kind of clients are you taking these days? Oh, it's just a messy custody battle that's going to court. I'm representing the mother. Her name is Asusa Otaki, and her daughter is Karin. 
to are set to appear in domestic affairs court today, and I'd like you to protect them until they get hit there. Who do they need protection from? Apparently the father was Yakuza until very recently. The way she tells it, she got into a huge fight with him and had to flee with her daughter. So you're giving her a bodyguard just because he's ex Yakuza. Isn't that kind of an overreaction? This poor woman doesn't seem to think so. She said her husband would do anything to get his daughter back. Her husband's name is Jin Otaki. It might not even come to it, but can you protect them from him if it does? Yep. Alright, seems pretty clear. Who knows when Shintani Sensei will be back anyway, so I guess I'll Thank help. you. Sorry, I'll pay hey. By the way, ever heard of Sunei Oikawa, the lawyer? Mm -hmm. Oikawa. No, don't think I've had. It's representing the father, but he's formerly one of mine. Huh? He worked here? Yeah. yeah, he was gone before you started. One of those elite types who passed the bar really early in life. But he wanted to win his cases by enemies necessary, even probably of blackmail. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. He was good, had some real potential. That's why I came down hard on him about changing his ways, but he didn't give a damn. In the end, I had no choice. I fired him. I thought maybe that would be the wake-up call he needed. But all it did was give him a chip on his shoulder. I swear the man only lives to beat me now. Hmm. Out of revenge for hiring him or something. Yeah. Yeah, but living for revenge just makes you sloppy. He'll probably never learn. Anyway, do you know where this mother and daughter are now? They were here not long ago, actually. She said they had some shopping to do, and I couldn't stop her. <sighs> For being her legal counsel, she doesn't seem to want to take my advice. Hmm. She's like a lovely family. Any idea where they might come? She said something about getting some clothes to make themselves presentable in court. So somewhere with clothes, huh? Alright, I'll go find her. Is the work? No. button there it's four hours I will stop this here I not feeling raiding anyone today. Thank you everybody for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.